Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to create a variable mortgage repayment calculator like this one here. A variable mortgage repayment calculator allows you to account for changes in mortgage rates throughout the mortgage term. This is more realistic than a fixed mortgage repayment calculator where we assume that the mortgage rate remains the same throughout the term. We will start by filling out our mortgage inputs including what the different mortgage rates will be and when they will change. Based on these inputs, we want to determine what the outputs will be. To do this, we will build an amortization table which calculates our payments every month. Let's start by adding our mortgage inputs. We're going to assume that our mortgage amount is £200,000 and that the term of the mortgage is 30 years. Next, let's consider our mortgage rates. Let's say that our initial mortgage rate from month zero onwards is 3%. After three years or 36 months, we will assume that our rate increases to 6%. And after five years or 60 months, we assume that it increases to 6.5%. The reason we have used months instead of years is because this will make the calculation simpler when building the amortization table. Now based on these inputs, we want to calculate our mortgage outputs, including our average monthly payments, total cost, and how much of this cost consists of interest payments. To do this, we must build an amortization table. I've added the column headings in advance. We have the month, the interest rates, the monthly payments, how much of this payment consists of interest and principal payments, and the balance. Let's firstly add the months. So we type zero and add one in the cell below. We can then drag this down to show 360 months since our mortgage term is 30 years. Next, let's consider the interest rates. Here we'll use the VLOOKUP function to determine the applicable interest rate in every given month based on the table we made earlier. So we type equals VLOOKUP, we first enter the month we're looking for, within the table we made containing the interest rates. Here we click the F4 key to add absolute references, which ensures this range does not change as we bring the formula down. We then type 2 as we want to retrieve the interest rate which is in the second column. Finally we type true as we want an approximate match. This is because the months in the amortization table do not always equal the months provided in the inputs table and subsequently we want Excel to return the next largest value that is less than the month we're looking for. We can now double click the bottom right hand corner to bring this formula down. Therefore, Excel has returned an interest rate of 3% up to month 36, an interest of 6% in month 36 onwards, and an interest rate of 6.5% in month 60 onwards. Next, we can calculate the monthly mortgage payment. To do this, we must first add the balance in month 0, which is £200,000. We can then use the PMT function to calculate the monthly payment, first inputting the monthly rate, which is the interest rate divided by 12. It's then asking us for the term. It may be tempting to write 360, as there are 360 months in a 30-year term. This would, however, result in incorrect calculations, since we're using a variable calculator. Instead, we need to tell Excel how many months are remaining in the term. To do this, we take 361 and subtract the month we're in. Now the reason we take 361 instead of 360 is because we need to account for month zero. We then input the previous month's balance. Before clicking enter, we add a negative sign in front of the function to ensure that the final value is positive. To calculate the amount of the monthly payments which consists of interest, we take the balance in the previous month and multiply it by the monthly rates, which is the interest rate divided by 12. The principal is simply the monthly mortgage payments minus the interest payments. Finally, the current balance is the previous month's balance minus the principal. We can then once again bring these formulae down. 
To check whether our amortization table is correct, the final month's balance needs to be zero, which reflects that the mortgage has been paid off, as shown here. Now that the amortization table is ready, we can calculate the outputs. The average monthly payment is simply the average of the monthly payments column. The total cost is the average monthly payments multiplied by the number of months, which is the term multiplied by 12. How much of this cost consists of interest payments is the total cost minus the mortgage amount. So our average monthly payment is £1,183. Our total cost is approximately £426,000, of which £226,000 is paid in interest. Finally, we can add charts to show how our principal and interest changes over time. To do this, let's firstly select the month column, as well as the principal paid column. Let's then enter the insert tab and click the scatter charts icon and click more scatter charts. Let's select this fourth option over here. We can then do the same to map out the interest paid. As you can see, the interest payments are initially low, then increase in month 36, and increase again in month 60, and after that decrease steadily until they reach zero. So that's how you can create a variable mortgage repayment calculator in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques, and examples.